Hello, and welcome back to Take on Mars. And in this episode, I'm doing live commentary, and hopefully with uh, the ability to control the landers, this should make it a little bit more interesting. But there is the little snag of having so many of these things to do before we can get on to the next stage. I've been wanting to hit the polar caps for a while now, and I just noticed something. If you move your cursor over these little icons, it freezes for a sec and then pops up with this thing. They, they'll have to fix that freeze in a little, uh, eventually, I hope. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it shows this little blurb where we see instruments to research by requirement probability and it looks like all those things are required with a hundred percent probability. Uh, alpha particle x-ray spectrometer, portable electron microscope. I know that uh, the way I compressed the video, it might not be possible to read all this, especially the small type. Um, for some reason, uh, the fonts don't really come out right after MP4 compression. But anyway, uh, soil scoop system, drill system, chemistry, laser spectrometer, uh, we've got the environmental monitoring station, but a radiation assessment detector, and then dot dot dot, which means more stuff. Clicking on this freezes it, but doesn't give me anything new. So I can't see what that dot 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 is. And I can't open the tech tree at the same time I've got this open, so I either have to remember it all, or write it down. And I'm just gonna go with remembering it all. Uh, I guess we have to do all these in turn. It's not possible. Well, I mean, I guess if we unlock the technology, maybe we'd be able to do these. Well, this seems to be requiring less than the polar ice cap mission. Maybe we should try and do some of these geology missions. Alpha particle, x-ray spectrometer, soil scoop system, drill system, and chemistry laser spectrometer. I think I can remember that. Funny that they have uh, Beyond Mars here, Deimos. Deimos should be easier than Mars, shouldn't it? When you think about it. Anyway, so... Tech tree. Let's find these things. Just hunting for the stuff that it says I need. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's uh, hidden in something. I'm not seeing it out, uh, out there, obviously. Optics and electronics, software and communication, chemistry and geology. Let's focus on this. Well, let's research this anyway, since we've got the environmental monitoring station. Parts requiring this tech. Radiation assessment detector. Well, I remember that. That's for the small rover. Alpha particle x-ray spectrometer. Okay, so we'll need this. I guess... Well, let's, let's hunt for the instruments first. This one is for the... RTG basically the radiothermic uh, thermal generator thermal electric generator uh, solar rays will be helpful but I'm just hunting for the science right now we'll need some budget to make sure we can continue working on stuff let's get uh, yeah small rover tech Oh, this one requires alpha, uh, the alpha particle x-ray spectrometer requires that as well. Radiation assessment. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we could uh, click these here. I should have done that. So soil analysis probe requires these. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, we need this one. Yes, we're researching it, right. And that one, which we are also researching. Okay. Uh, we wanted a drill system. Well, that's all the way down there. So we'll never get to the poles. <laughs> we gotta take forever to get to the polar ice caps. Can't we go to the polar ice caps with, you know, something a little bit less? Uh, we don't have funds for that. 
Okay, well, that's sad. Ooh, uh, we've researched some camera technology. Maybe we'll get some better pictures. I think I've spent enough cash here. Let's go do some missions. So I think last time I didn't get to hit Gale Crater much. So let's uh, let's take a take something out to get uh, Gale Crater and mission details. We need to explore, analyze, and get some photos. Three photos. Okay, let's see now. We need a lander. I want a new small lander and I want to see what new parts we can get with it. Okay, so it's got a black and white camera built in it looks like and I want a low gain antenna. Let's see, uh, ooh, a terrain imager navigation camera, hazard avoidance camera. Let's get some batteries first. That's sort of standard. And we need the environmental analysis station, of course. Okay, now the cameras. We've got two places for a camera here. And lots of choices. Black and white camera. Black and white camera. I thought we unlocked color stuff. Oh, there's this descent camera too, but there's no valid slot for it. Oh, allow mapping of surrounding terrain and the location of landing. And this one's color too. That's interesting, but we've got no place for it. Uh, how about if we put the robotic arm? Now we've got a robotic arm. Nope, still no descent camera. Well, in that case I'll remove the robotic arm. It's a little bit expensive. Okay, so uh, terrain imager. Well, this says it's color. Okay, this one is color. Okay, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, yeah, let's put the color stuff on. We've got that. We'll get that too. Okay, hopefully that fixed focal length camera. That's the same as everything else, right? Okay, I think we've got a decent lander now. Now, do I remember how to uh, do these things? Let's click launch. Yeah. Here we go. That was the heat shield off. And an email one now. The send speed is actually pretty low when you look at it. Hello. Okay. So let me get manual control. Uh oh, uh oh. What the heck? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Um, uh, that's not what I wanted at all. Right. Okay, good, good, good. I was a little bit worried for a second there. They sort of got me on an edge here. I don't like that. a little bit further than I wanted to be. Okay, but it gave me my immediate return to explore. That's good. It's all nice and in color. So uh, let's see. Here we go. Wow, look at that.
Ah, there's their stuff. Okay, let's take that photo. Still have got a dusty thing going on there. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh... This is Tilly, this is wide. Okay. Oh! That's actually our, uh... A little shell with its parachute descending there. Oh, this is nifty. I do so much like it better in color. Imagine what happens when we finally get rovers. Okay, uh, but we have to get down to business. Instrument HUD. All we've got is the environmental analysis station. So let's capture gas. And yeah, so here we go again. This should fulfill our mission. We'll see. And so yeah, doing this once again. I really think they should cut down from 10 to maybe 8 of these things, but uh, also they have to worry about whether people will get enough cash to fill the tech tree out, so that's a little bit complicated. Figuring out varied kind of missions is a must, and we're not quite there yet. Again, this is a game in development. This is, uh, see, I mean... They've got temporary results coming soon, early access and everything, so gotta hope that things get a little bit more more engaging. But uh, let's get back to mission control now that we've fulfilled this mission. While this stuff sometimes feels repetitive, I have to admit it doesn't take very long. It certainly doesn't take very long to do these. So let's see the mission details on this. Yes, photos, okay, and uh, let's go with the last ed edited vehicle with the color cameras, yep, that'll be fine. Let's see if I can hit a little bit closer to the target this time, a little bit awkward the uh, way we have to control these, at least for me, I mean, I'm so used to using a joystick for this sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm just checking out the other cameras and I don't see any benefit to anything. Okay, manual control. Okay, now we've got it good. Where's our target? Okay, wow, one kilometer. Okay. Okay, doing a little bit better of a job here. Still haven't tried doing it from a landing cam, so that'll be more interesting once we get down to that. But I want a lot more practice before I try that. still very far. Uh oh. That was pretty bad, wasn't it? Oh, I still got Explore Complete. Well, that's nice of them. Um, yeah. It is very hard to do this while I'm thinking about commentating. I'll be honest. Uh, that is very difficult. And I think I've... I think it's all or nothing. I don't think we get to... Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's not like some of the parts break off and others don't, even though, really, the way it uh, flopped, uh, I don't see why the environmental analysis station and the... Well, I guess they're delicate instruments or something. But I'm, uh, uh, really, just the wheels could have broken off, or maybe the cameras on the front, but... Oh, well. Okay, uh, I think we should try this again. So, here it goes again. Heat shield off. And, yeah. Hopefully I can figure it out this time. Okay. Manual control. Maybe it's just a camera angle, honestly. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way, am I? No, I don't know. I seem to be coming in at a steeper descent than normal. Yeah, I think I was... I got two buttons mixed up. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I'm ending up way far away. Darn it, darn it. Okay, now I'm doing the thing that that probe before was doing. Oh, and I've got sticky keys. Uh, this is horrible. Okay, so uh, I had to deal with sticky keys and all of that. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh my god, this is the worst. Good thing they pack a lot of fuel in these things. This. Okay, well at least I got on the surface this time. That was horrible. I mean, I got everything going wrong for me, even sticky keys. How did I manage to do it so well in the previous ones and have so much problem this time? Oh well, anyway. Clearly gotta practice that more. So here's a camera. But I'm wondering... How far away from the target can you be and still fulfill the mission requirements? Right now I'm not seeing happy little green spots here. Let's say we do the environmental analysis. Okay, environmental analysis is complete, so that's good. But we've still got the photos to take and Oh, now we've got green little... Oh, I just didn't have the camera HUD on, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, here's another one. Far. Okay, how about Tilly? No. So we can't complete this one because it's too far?
Hey, I just took that one. What do you mean far? Oh, okay. Looks like we're done anyway. I don't know what the far was about. Okay, so somehow we managed to f complete this mission successfully even though I had two very bad attempts at landing. Uh, one complete failure, of course. Alright, let's go back to mission control. So maybe I shouldn't complain that there are so many of these, because clearly I need the practice. Let's go somewhere else. Gale, Gale Crater is not doing nice by me. I've, I'm clearly not having fun there. Let's see mission details. It's good to me. Uh, let's just. Um, well, I'm sure we've got. Uh, the best stuff possible, so I think we can do this mission with this vehicle. Alright, let's try this. Okay, once more, let's try this without crashing anything. Lyot Crater is my favorite landing location so far, for no apparent reason. Now see, one problem I have is, which way is up and which way is down? Okay, yeah, I mean I've got shift and control. I'm just trying to figure out, see that decreases descent speed, that also decreases descent speed, so I don't know how much control I have over this. Well, they seem to have me better lined up on this one. Sticky keys. I haven't had so much sticky key problems in ages. Okay, uh, I hope I press record in the middle one. I did sticky keys on me twice on this landing. And I forget if uh, in between the two sticky keys I pressed record, it automatically undoes the record whenever the desktop comes up with the sticky keys, so... Okay, well we're here. Right, so let's take care of the camera first. Can you do the camera stuff in this view? Probably not a good idea. I wonder what that F was. I pressed F. There's... There's just sort of a general view of things, apparently. For those who, well, really like to... Oh, they, there's our... Uh, there's the shell with the parachute. How could it be... falling... that slowly? I mean, we had thrusters to slow our descent. Oh well. I mean, 10 meters per second we're talking about here. I, I was coming down pretty slowly. Alright, anyway, uh, let's get out of that mode, whatever we call it. And let's do our scientific business, taking some photographs. Okay, that's it for the photographs, I think. So, environmental analysis, capturing the gas and analyzing its contents. Yay! Which is currently the only, I mean, the, the ph photographs I'm sure are very important, but this is the main scientific instrument on board our little lander. Why, why do we have this sort of fuzzy thing going here? Can I? I think it was just the environmental analysis station's little box that was getting in the way. Okay, so we fulfilled this mission. 
my landings this time have been much worse than in the previous one. But in the previous one, I wasn't trying to do commentary at the same time, so I'm gonna blame that. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's just I'm a little bit out of it today. I don't know. All right, so uh, back to mission control. You know, I didn't notice this before, but oh, we have a self polar cap, but we still need better technology to to deal with it, even though it doesn't seem to have much ice. <laughs> I. I don't know what uh, better technology we need when there's so little ice that we could probably land it with a normal lander. Um, maybe it's the way that it gets inserted into orbit? I mean, of course, this this game doesn't really have much of that. So I can't really tell. We haven't really done much... But I want to stick to trying to get landings done. I was thinking, well, we've got two probe, uh, just normal probe ones there, but I don't think I want to spend time on that. Let us... But then again, it might be a little bit quicker to... Yeah, let, let's let's do some probe ones quickly, because I think... Uh, I want to get through uh, the... the requirements, the objectives. So, we'll need an environmental analysis. Oh, we don't? Oh, this is a cheapy one. No, I need a, I need a mission that has the environmental analysis station. Not one of these. Uh, this this is a full-fledged one, not a probe one. I, I wonder if I can find one that's just for the probe that we can do. Oh, that's a cheapy one. Oh, the, the, this is one. Mission details, just check. Yes, this is one of the environmental analysis station. Okay, so probe E. I'm getting weird lag. Let's try and launch this before the lag kills me. Yep, that'll do. So I get to sit back on this one. Which is good because my my success rate has not been wonderful. Uh, let's go with this. I should have replaced the camera though. We, we can do it with a better camera. I think uh, we can fit a camera on this one. Okay. Ah, minimal. Oh, I thought a minimal amount of rolling, but okay. Yeah, let's capture gas. That's that's our thing, right? I'm still not sure what the batteries actually do. I mean, do we have a drain rate even on the landers? I really have to pay attention to that. I haven't seen the power level going down much. Okay, so that mission is complete. Let's go back. Yeah, so with that, now we only need to do two more of those. So let's let's let me uh, make it a goal of this to uh, complete that objective. And I'm going to let's let's go to Victoria. Is there no? This is the one with the two ones that won't count. So let's skip that. Kaiser, we did. I don't think there's anything left in Lyot Crater. Uh, no, no, no. What? Oh, we've done everything in Lyot Crater and now we don't have any missions. That's a problem. Gale Crater. Now, do we have any of the cheapy ones? Ah, there's one. Okay, so... But I want to replace the camera on it. I want to get a nice camera. So that we get a better view on landing. So we need the environmental analysis station. We got that. And let's go with a cheap battery because I still don't know what batteries actually do for these things. And it didn't have a power drain last time, so I don't know why I would this time. Maybe because of our better camera. Should we go telefocus or wide angle? Let's go panorama. Yeah. Okay. I think we can uh, go. Much more expensive, but still. It's good for the better view. Uh, 
Okay, so this is our wide angle color view of the approach. I, I'll have to figure out what key we can use to drop the HUD. Oh, maybe that's F. No, it's not. F gives some totally different view. I, I need to figure out how to drop the all the gooey stuff. Okay, very nice close-up view. We got some definite view of the rocks here. Uh, wait for, for it to settle down. And then capture gas. So we can uh, take a look at our, I don't know what you call the view that is brought up by F. Uh, Resource distribution map controls. Resource distribution map. Well, this doesn't look like much of a map, so is this a resource? Cycle resource distribution maps with tab. I'm pressing tab, it doesn't do anything. Increase resource in target sector. Left shift. Doesn't do anything. So this must be for something completely different. Is that right? Okay, anyway, we've uh, done our business here. We've got the uh, temporary results coming soon. No mission assigned. Okay, so the last one I want to do for the mission objective is a lander, obviously. I'm not going to I'm not going to end with a silly little probe. We're going to get a lander in. And I'm going to try and do it right. So, Objectives, our last characterization and co of, co of the composition of the Martian atmosphere. And let's find a mission like that. Okay, so it's just here. Well, they don't really give us much choices. I mean, there's an illusion that you can choose where you can do the missions. But in the end, you're going to have to do all of these. So, I don't know. Well, I don't remember which lander I use, so I'll just uh, construct a new one. Okay, antenna first. Our mental analysis station. Let's get both of these color imagers. And finally, chemical battery. Okay, we're all set. Okay, so this is this camera, and I don't know, this isn't a descent camera, and I think if I leave it like this, I'm probably going to regret it. Oh, no, that's not too... Well, okay, it is pretty bad. Okay, tell you what, I, I'm going to have to go out to this camera. Eventually, we'll pick up that descent camera, but this is not that time. Okay. Please let me do this right. Please let me do this right. Oh no, not sticky keys again. Crud. I don't know, I, I, it's like sticky keys, <laughs> I mean, why? I, I, I've, I've tapped the same key in, in Kerbal Space Program for ages and never got a sticky key problem. It's completely random. <sighs> okay, uh, let's, let's try this again. So I'm going to have to make a concerted attempt not to press the same key repeatedly. Because if I end up having to go to the desktop and do sticky keys again, I'm in full screen view of course. 
So that's two times on that one. I'm just, to some extent, alternating which keys I press. It's come to this, folks. I always overshoot. Maybe I should take into account that fact. I've been overshooting all day today. Yeah, I should just slide into the target rather than try and drop onto it. Wish there was. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Wish there was an uh, orientation indicator to show how. How far away from vertical you are. I mean, some sort of nav ball kind of thing. Obviously, none of this is realistic. Nobody will be controlling a lander like this. But, but while we're here. Okay, well, still not getting anywhere near as good as I did last time. I'm just doing something wrong, but at least I didn't crash it this time. Okay, well, here we go again. Last one, though. Last one of these. And hopefully the parts we decide to unlock will help us in the future. Quite a crater we've got here. Uh, I need to switch to camera HUD. Okay. Uh, this is all red. Let's uh, go to wide, maybe. Ah, okay. Still don't know what the far means there. It gives me completion, even though I. It reads far for some reason. Interesting, they don't have a limitation on how many times you can use the camera. I mean, my power level is still not going down even though they required me to bring a battery. There's no drain rate. Um, so, apparently nothing required to send these photos back home. Oh, achievement unlocked. 10 million for the agency. Okay. Uh, so, no transmission cost for all these photographs. And no hard drive on board that's storing them. That could possibly be limited. I don't know. Of course, uh, you know, you could shove a lot of photos on a hard drive, so it might be just tedious to make that a requirement. Okay. Capturing the gas. Okay, so we can disconnect with this one. And our objectives, well at least this objective is complete. That's nice. I don't know how we actually satisfied this one such that we only got four out of six because we sure, th there's nothing we've done four of. So I don't even understand what this one requires. What, what, what do we do with this one? Environmental monitoring station. Do we have an environmental monitoring station? I, I know we have an environmental analysis station. So yeah, I don't get this one at all. Okay, but we really need to get to the polar caps. But that has a lot of requirements under it. 
So maybe the geology stuff is easier. Okay, I, every time I try to move my cursor over those icons to see it, it, the lag gets worse. So, we've done some, some more science, so we should be able to unlock more stuff. I don't know what the benefit of a zero-g probe is. I mean, in this context. Solar ray... Uh, let, let's see, uh, if I click small rover. Okay, we've got that. So I'm going to aim to do rover missions next time. Okay, we need this one. Got that, got that. We are researching that. And we need air cushion restraint system. Okay, that costs a lot. 1,250. So I'm going to aim to get a small rover going next time. I don't know if that's a good thing, considering how horribly I've been doing the the landings recently. Could be very costly. I wonder if the they're gonna require me to have a high gain antenna. Seems like it's for a medium or large medium rover or large lander here so I'll, I'll hold off on that oil uh, soil scoop system requires this high power socket system and this which is way down there and this which is way down there and that data recovery tool all the way down there wow Hmm. This also says for a medium rover. Hopefully I've got everything for the small rover. Okay, so uh, with that being our plan, hopefully we'll unlock all the stuff for rovers next time. Certainly we don't have any missions left for for a lander, for a small lander. We've done all of those. So we'd better unlock rovers, otherwise we're stuck. Um, yeah, so uh, tune in next time, episode 5. We'll be doing rover stuff, definitely. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.